god! No way! Oh my god, it's a shiny! Holy shit, no way! Great ball of China, please, please catch shiny claws. Oh my god! Oh my god! I caught it! Dude, a shiny Muna, no fucking way! Oh my god, I can't believe it, believe it. Oh my goodness. I'm just out here training and then there's just a shiny moon up out of nowhere. This is this is a normal game. This is it like that that is full odds shiny right there. During the training montage. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. What? What? Holy oh man, it is just the grossest fucking shiny though, but it's still a shiny. Shiny claws counts here. Oh my god, dude, I can't believe it. I'm just I'm I'm blown away right now. I just I can't even like take my eyes off the screen. I just got a shiny in this random playthrough. I cannot believe it. Oh my god. Wow, wow, I am just, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even, like, wow. I'm going to name it Shinatsu. That's wild. It's a shiny. I can't believe it. It figures, though. I get a shiny in this before I catch my shiny Zerka tree. Man. I still haven't got it, by the way. I can't, I can't even believe it. I got a shiny Muna named Shinatsu. And those Mirror Shot, Overheat, Aqua Jet, and Spark. Mirror Jet... A mirror shot, 60 damage, 90 accuracy, um, 60 power, 60... F oh, overheat is absolutely horrible, and it lowers my special attack stat. Not that any of these are special. And then Aqua Jet, 65 and 100 is a dragon-type move, and then Spark is a normal-type move that also might para paralyze. Its attack is increased, but its speed is decreased, but its attack is horrible. And all of these are attacks. This thing is going to be absolute garbage. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of disappointed about it. But at the same time, I just, I mean, it's a shiny for no reason. Like, all right, I'm back to the grind. Back to the grind.
Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Pokemon White 2 Super Ultra Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke and I am your host Grandmaster Shaman and today we're going to take on a couple more uh, people before heading into the gym and as you can see we got a new team member. If you uh, skip to the training montage I'd highly recommend you go check it out but uh, due to shiny claws we were able to get a shiny Muna on our team and now, Shiny Muna uh, has been a little bit of a difficult case because um, she's completely useless. Uh, ground Fire type that has almost no attack stat, but it's being increased in attack and decreased in speed. It has a lot of special defense, which is really nice, and some pretty decent special attack, but it's a physical attack and defense are really low and because of its moveset, with that being its only special attack, the rest of these being physical, it's pretty bad. And, um, adaptability powers up the move of the same type, which is, which is pretty cool. Adaptability might be, come in handy at some point. Um, I, and then we, of course, have Angry Bird and Brock, both at level 18. Our Shinatsu, our Shiny Muna is at level 15. And I'm really kind of happy about what we got here um especially losing um another mon last episode losing our mole trace uh i'm glad we were able to get something here but muna has uh, been a pain to try and level up and um honestly it probably won't be uh featured much in this episode but um still a really nice to have an extra player on the team if you know what i mean um Make sure, if you like this series, to leave a thumbs up, uh, click that thumbs up button, that like button, and uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below for me, and uh, let me know how I'm doing. I hope I'm doing pretty well. Um, all you guys have been uh, great with support um, through previous series and whatnot, so I'm, I'm pretty excited, all things considered. So we're going to do some... Uh, last minute training before this uh, gym battle. Um, I could try and train up my shiny Muna, but I don't know whether or not uh, that would be the best option. All things considered, uh, Muna really its its stats are pretty low. And um, once we beat the gym and we move on to the next city, we can go and get the EXP share because it's not a uh, randomized item. It's a, a it's a given item, which means that it should be static. So. In that case, we should be able to get a uh, EXP share, and when we do, then we can uh, help level up this Shiny Muna a little bit without having to switch train it. So that would be extremely helpful. This should be the last uh, trainer on this route, I believe. Uh, I should have gotten all three trainers on this route at this point. So now we have this Crawdon, level 13. Uh, we're level 19. The gym is going to be pretty difficult, I think, because I, I don't know exactly, but I feel like the gym was around level 20 or so. So it should still be a very big challenge for us, even though these trainers aren't exactly the uh, best in the group. I guess... Um, Considering that they're around level 13 or so, I should be able to train the Shiny Muna pretty well. Um, as we got ourselves a Shinx, um, we can switch train it here. Uh, that, that brutal attack stat is what really uh, hurts this Pokemon. Earth Power. Hopefully that won't do too much. Oh, it's super effective, but it didn't. it wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see how much an electric type attack does on this thing. It's not very effective. Ooh, that is not too good. Gear grind, it's super effective. Damn, that's not that's not good. It hit twice. Um, super Fang should cut this thing's attack in half. Boom. Don't use gear grind again. I right, use gear grind again. Might have to switch out. Actually, depends on how many hits this thing has. Only twice. Uh, that's not bad. Okay, so Electric-type wasn't very effective. How about Ice-type? 
Super effective. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's a good, good victory for us there. We'll go grab this item real fast. It's the TM85 Water Pulse, which is the ghost type move that my uh, that I uh, already encountered before. But with that, we should have gotten all three of them. And Crush Claw. That's interesting. Let's see. Let's check out these moves real fast. So Horn Drill, we still have Sucker Punch. Oh, it's a 95 power, 70 accuracy move. I thought it was only 20. Uh, either way, 70 accuracy is kind of rough. Swift, it's dragon type move in this game. With 50 power, that's not actually too bad. It's a physical attack. Then we have Water Pulse, which is a ghost type move with 60 power. Um, not too bad. And then we have Crush Claw, which is a dragon type move. It actually kind of makes sense, interestingly enough. 35 power, though, is kind of bad. Uh, this is a special attack with 60 power. Can Muna? Nope. Muna can't not learn it. Um, these physical attacks don't really do anything for me. How about dr Horn Drill for no reason? Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. All right. So, RTMs are completely useless right now, which is pretty uh, lame if you ask me. So, I'm going to heal, and then I'm going to go into this gym, and we're going to see uh, if we can't knock this thing out in this episode. Um, my hope is that we can uh, try and survive this pretty well. We can go get our fresh water and uh, knock this gym out. should be uh, pretty difficult to do, though, despite our uh, levels being what they are. Um, I did have to do a lot of grinding, so uh, we got, what, a level 19 and a level 18? Should be interesting to see what this has. This is one of my favorite um, gyms in the entire uh, game. Like Not just this game, but like in general. I love this gym so much. It's an underground rock place, and, and the music is so good. It's such good... It's so good. It's fantastic. Okay. And I like how, how they do P O K E M O N Pokemon. It's good. It's good. Fantastic music. Um, this gym is just one of my favorites. Not only the, the design, but um, just everything about it is pretty amazing. All right, we're going to leaf storm this thing. It did not work. All right, that's pretty dope. All right, let's try just a regular weather ball. It should be a ghost type attack. Um, that's actually not too bad, um, all things considered. So it's at level 15, which means we should be on par with the, the gym leader's Pokemon. Um, Obviously, I don't know exactly what level that is, but considering this thing's at level 15, we should be... It should be around level 20, should be um, her ace. A Vulpix. We're going to try and get Angry Bird up a level here by beating this Vulpix. So, we'll see. Alright. What level? Uh, 15. Let's Super Fang it. Cut its HP in half. Uh, that definitely helps to start things. Oh my god, it hit Grass Whistle. I don't know how much accuracy it has in this game, but... God, man. Of course, it has to hit the sleeping move. Uses Smog, it misses. That's good. Um, we're still asleep. It missed Smog again, so that's good. And then we wake up and hit it, so that was completely useless. Um, and fantastic for us, because we just knocked this thing out. Oh my god, never mind. Alright. Bug bite it. That should KO the thing. Yep. And... We didn't even take a point of damage um, from the Vulpix, anyway. So that's pretty cool. Relic Song. 75, 100 accuracy may induce sleep. Um, 55, 65, 85. And Super Fang has been really good to us. I think we're going to get rid of Bug Bite here for Relic Song. Uh, Bug Bite has kind of helped us out, but... Still. Alright, so take on this other trainer. We still should be good in terms of levels and HP. 
Let's see what you got. A rock. There was a Suicune in the last gym, and now there's Raikou in this one. Uh, next, next thing you're gonna tell me is that Entei's gonna be in the third gym. Like, come on. God damn it. That's actually scary. Alright, use Miracle Eye. I was identified. That is also a bit scary. Um, at least a little bit. Alright, let's slam into it. Dragon Claw. Eesh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Slammed into it. Oh, that's super effective. Fighting type super effective against this thing. So if we slam into it again, we should be able to KO it. There you go. Alright, sweet. Get all of that XP. All of that XP. Almost level 21. Um, Sand true. Alright, we'll switch out and we're going to throw in Angry Bird again. Probably try and Relic Song it. See if dark type moves are super effective or not. Alright, and the verdict is it goes to sleep. Perfect. Alright, you couldn't have asked for much better than that. And with bad dreams, uh, it works so perfectly uh, with this mon. So we got bad dreams going, and we've got that going. And then an the electric type move was super effective. Um, so we are kicking this thing out of the park right now. Alright, let's, uh, all we need to do is potion up real fast. Oh, I forgot I only have super potions. I feel like that's kind of a waste for only 20 points. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch this. Uh, we haven't taken any damage out of Angry Bird yet, and if we need to, we'll we'll switch. Oh, only you can prevent lost save data, so make sure you save your uh, your games right before uh, you take on very important events in the game. And we're going to take on the second gym leader here, so that's going to be super impressive. All right, here we go. So we're facing Chloe, gym leader Chloe. Um, what are you also? You are... There's no text. Oh, Weightlifter Chloe. Oh, man. That is that is good. Couldn't ask for much better than that. Yeah, level 18. So we're on par here. Level 19. We're not over-leveled. Just as I kind of expected. All right, we're going to relics... Oh, my God. It's soundproof. Fuck. <laughs> Out of all the things, it's fucking soundproof. All right, we're going to super fang it. We're going to cut this thing's HP in half. Doesn't worry about defense that much. Cotton Guard. Ah, oh, man. It's Defense is raising by a lot. Let me uh, double check real quick which of these are special attacks. Physical. All right, we're going to air cutter this thing. It's a special attack, so it shouldn't worry about that defense drastically increasing. Um, no. Moonlight, you are kidding me. Oh, man, Finneon, you are a piece of garbage. All right, we're going to super fang it. We're going to bring it down to half of that HP. All right, you're poison stinging me. That is not okay. All right, we're going to air cutter you, electric type move. I done. it's moonlighting again. Oh, my God, this thing is going to be a pain in the ass. This thing is going to be a pain in my ass. I am not okay with this. Alright, we're going to super fang this thing. If it if it poisons me, I swear to God. Moonlight. Alright, I'm just going to keep super fanging this thing. Probably. Cutting his HP in half is going to be really helpful because it's just going to counter all of that moonlight um, HP that it keeps getting. Alright, if we can air cutter this thing. That was a crit? That was a crit? Oh man, that's not good. And it's healed again. My other two moves are physical attacks though, and with its defense increased as much as it is, that's not going to help me out too much. So this thing is just going to spam heal forever. Right about now, a heal block would be really nice. Oh, fucking course it's got poisoned. Um All right, well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to peck a berry this thing cuz uh Chairman was nice enough to give me some peck berries. 
Don't get poisoned again, I swear to God. Okay. Alright, we're going to cut this thing's HP in half again. Poison stings me again. I'm okay with that. Oh, shit. I, I pressed Relic Song instead of... Oh, no. Yeah, it's soundproof, I know. Uh, I meant to put Air Cutter, but now that it's healed, I'm just going to have to Super Fang it a couple times again. Um, poison Sting. Oh, man. Every single time it does that move, I'm scared of it poisoning. Oh, God. Please don't poison me. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, God. No. That's not good. Come on. Air Cutter kills. Air Cutter kills. Air Cutter kills. No. You're joking. All right. We're going to have to Super Potion. And then I'm going to have to use another Pekka Berry. It looks like it's out of Moonlight, so it can't spam that shit anymore, which is really nice. All right, we're going to heal uh, that poison right now, and hopefully this one will actually kill. That would be that would be super nice. All right, there we go. All right, we've got the first Mon down. So uh, Jesus Christ with the spamming heal... Moonlight is ridiculous. Alright. Sung this thing, and, um... Oh, nice! It went to sleep. Okay. So this one's defense should be nice. Alright, we got that bad dreams going on right about now. We're gonna half this thing's HP real fast. And then with bad dreams and another relic song, we should be able to kill this thing real easy I know my Dodrio is kind of OP I like that um, and that thing was a higher level that thing was level 20 so we just we just swept this thing with uh, Angry Bird right now that was that was nice all right we got our second gym badge here we go man we're we're we're, we're cooking with gas right now um, Already with our second gym badge of the uh, Nuzlocke and uh, the TM for Sacred Fire. All right, I will take that. Um, how much does Sacred Fire do? It's a physical attack. It's an electric type, but might burn them with 60 power. Does anybody can learn that? Oh, we got... Both Brock and them can learn it. Alright, so Brock is pretty mad decent in this category. Um, I think we're going to take away Slam. That thing is 85 accuracy. Uh, I think an electric type move would go really well with it as well. Um, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this part. You know, Pokestar Studios and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I am going to real quick like just... I'm going to go save. We have to go to the Pokestar Studios. So, um, I'm going to quickly skip that part as fast as I possibly can for you guys. So, just give me a quick, quick minute. Alright, well, sorry about that real, real quick. Like, it's, it's kind of funny, though, because uh, technically I failed the... Uh, objective of the Pokestar Studios because all the moves are randomized so it tried to use Forest Palm and it didn't do the super effective thing and kill it in one shot so technically I failed but that doesn't matter all right we got the best team plasma I mean I really wish that I can just join this team rather than having to fight it. I mean, Pirate Team Plasma is just the coolest thing. I mean, I like the original Team Plasma, but Pirate Team Plasma, they're, they're out, like, look at their outfits. It is absolutely um, amazing. All right, this guy has a Cloister level 15. All right, that's a little scary, um, to tell you the truth. All right, so we got our level 20 out here, though. Relic song that thing. Maybe put it to sleep. That would be super cool. Um, Alright. 
used in prison. I don't know what moves it and I share, but whatever they are, they're disabled. Alright, that didn't do anything. It's using Sandstorm? Ah. It, 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 it hurt itself. What is the point? Alright, can I get it like a Crit Relic song here? That would be super nice. No? Damn. Alright. Going out with them kicks. Uh, well, I'm, I might as well air cut her again. It didn't die, but hopefully after this sandstorm it should. Oh, God. Okay, that was a crit mega kick. That was a little scary. Almost level 21. And we beat the Team Plasma Grunt. Alright, they're going to run away. Smart people. Smart people. Oh, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. HMO1 cut. That's totally going to be super hel helpful, I promise. Alright. Dude, I want. Uh, speaking of cut, in reality, it's going to be completely different. Maybe it'll actually be good. Oh. Uh, Fighting type move with 65 power and 95 accuracy. I don't think I need it, do I? I don't need it to progress in the story. Alright, let me let me heal real fast. That cloister almost kicked my ass, so we're gonna heal up real quick like before heading into the forest. Or whatever, Route 20. And encountering these guys again. <clears throat> Sorry, it all been pretty good. I like how the Team Plasma music is like throughout this entire route. All right, Team Plasma Grunt, what do you got? Anything good? Like, you look fantastic, by the way. I'm just throwing it out there. She looks amazing. Alright, so then we've got Stantler. Level 15 as well. So that's not too bad. Um, we're going to Relic Song this thing, too. Because putting it to sleep would be very, very beneficial. Or very beneficial. I don't know. It depends on how you look at things. Ooh, Sacred Fire. Don't burn me. And it burned me. That's super cool. How nice of you. Burning me. Alright, so Super Fang cuts it in half. Oh, it's using Toxic Spikes, you piece of shit. Alright, well, we really only have a, a very little options in terms of what can I can use without using a physical attack. Because physical attacks aren't going to do me any good right about now. Alright, so we beat the Stantler. Boost up to level 21. Not, not even bad. Alright, get out of here, my dude. They ran away. Did our job. And we don't have to encounter anything or anyone on our way back which is really nice so that way I can heal my Dodrio um, and then hopefully I can get through the Battle Institute before this episode ends and get myself an EXP share grind my Muna up a little bit maybe well not really I can't because I have to go to the next route and since I don't have an encounter on the next route uh, and I don't wanna I don't wanna just battle trainers during the the grinding montage cuz that's technically story progression, technically. So, we'll have to pass on that. But, hopefully we can at least get the EXP share before the end of this episode. Um, hopefully. I think, th with my luck, I'm going to end up just messing up completely. Um, oh, we also have to go, to, actually, we have to go to the underground first, don't we? Before I even go to the Battle Institute? Right? 
Or do we not have to? At least they get the bike here, which is really nice. Uh, I, I apologize for speeding up, but this is just story. I won't speed up in battle, I promise. Thanks, clown. Give me my bike. Alright, this is the Battle Institute, correct? Alright, so this... This should be the right place. There you go. All right, we are Gucci. All right. I didn't even have to battle anyone, which is which is pretty nice. All right, we'll give that to Shinatsu. Well, in that case, we're looking for Team Plasma, right? So they should be over here. God damn it. I gotta go to the gym first? Yeah, I think so. Well, that was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest with you. Alright, yeah, Berg's gone, so then there's Miss Iris, the champ. What's up, champ? You look amazing, by the way. I love out Iris's outfit in this game. Like, when you go and face the champ, spoiler alert, she's the champion. My apologies. Um, but when she you face her as the champ, it's 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 absolutely fantastic outfit she, she wears. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm coming, I'm coming, Iris, I'm coming. Now... For this, I'm not going to count when I'm with my rival unless it's a shiny. Um, this actually happened before. This is uh, one of the reasons why I absolutely despise the rival of this game. Is because um, you go with him, right? And I encountered a shiny Pokemon. Uh, I can't remember what it was now, though. It was it was when I first got the game, my very first run through of Black Two, um, not White Two. I actually played White Two first because I um, White the original White was the game I played first, so I played White Two first when the sequels came out. But this guy, I encountered a shiny while with this guy, and he blasted it to the next dimension, and I was really uh, upset, and ever since then, I've absolutely despised this guy with a burning passion in my soul, so, um, this is not going to count as my first encounter, because th my rival could blast the thing into the next dimension, and that's not okay, that is not okay with me, I don't think that is very fair, um, so I personally don't count this encounter as my first one because it's just, it's too much. It's too much to, to, to ask. Like I can, I can double, I can counter both of these Pokemon and I, that's, that's awesome and all, but like, oh God. Oh, okay. That's not on me. Um, but if he kills it. I mean, that's a, that's a little unfair, in my opinion. So, if you guys don't like it, I, I apologize, but uh, that's just the way I, I've done it playing Pokemon Black and White 2, is that whenever I'm when my first encounter would happen with my rival or another person, with, with a second person in general, it's just not a fair... Um, it's not just not a fair matchup because I not only do I have to kill the sec the Pokemon that I don't want, but I have to trust that my rival won't kill the one that I do want, which is a, a little much here. So we're just gonna quickly go. Whoa, Regice! There are Regice here. I hope that's my actual first encounter. Um, but the reason I say this is be it is simply because it's just it's not okay to me um, for my rival to be able to ruin my encounter chances. Um, they both have intimidate. That's not even fair. Uh, I'm running. 
Yeah, they both have Intimidate. Drop my attack that much. Get out of here. Alright, so I got some black glasses. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's uh, double team these bitches. Blast them up in here. So I should be able to get an encounter here, and I should be able to get one up in Castellia City, right? I believe there's there's grass up there by, like, a giant tree or something. So an Azumarill uh, and a uh, Salamance. That's a bit sketchy. I like how my rival has a skip loon, though. That's kind of funny. Alright, I'm going to Relic Song these guys. Hopefully something happens. Stored power. That did nothing. That was kind of funny. Alright, Relic Song, these guys, Dark type move, not very effective on Salamance, but it is a crit, and Salamance fell asleep. Skip Moon used Harden, okay. That's nice, thanks so much for helping out. Gung Shot, oh, please don't be on me, okay, yeah. Annihilate the Skip Loom, yeah, bad dreams, get wrecked, okay, so. Dark type move wasn't very effective against it. So, it could be a dark type, it could be a fighting type. Um, I'm going to let it sleep, and I'm going to super fang the Azumarill. Cut its HP in half. Alright, it's gunk shotting the skip loom again, which is really nice. And Bad Dream should cut Salamance's HP. Um, and then I'm going to air cutter both of these, see what happens with an electric type attack. Uh, that's pretty average. It doesn't really do too much. Oh, why are you going shutting me now? It's super effective on Skip Loom. Alright, I'm gonna Relics... <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna Relics on both of these. It's a lot better, uh, than the Electrotype, uh, Air Cutter, so... Let's do a little bit more damage. The Azumarill almost dies... Then you hit it, yes, Salamance goes down, so Azumarill just has to get hit once. Uh, Magnet Bomb is a special attack, that's awesome. And it says this attack will not miss, but its accuracy is 90, so I'm very confused on whether or not it can miss or not. But it's a poison type attack. 75, what is this thing, 85, 90? 65, 100, 75, 85. So both of those are 75, 85s. So, oh shit, no, 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 no. No, forget. Yeah, I, I, I want, I, I'm going to take out Spark just because Spark can't do any special, uh, um, super effective damage. Not to mention it's a physical attack, which doesn't help me out at all. Um, then we're going to air cutter this thing. I have 40 PP on this. Oh, he sends out Star You. Alright, Noah. Using a star you, but Azumarill goes down, GG. And my Shinatsu is up to level 18, which is super dope. Yep, yeah, run away. Run away, you little bastards. Alright, Berg. Alright, I'm gonna just plow through this text real fast. I got the HMO4 Strength. That could come in handy. It depends on how much damage Strength actually does. And then there's Colrus. What's up, my dude? I just saw you playing Ultra Moon the other day. Alright. I'm going to try and go up those stairs. Alright, I still didn't get my encounter inside this place. But I... Here's Castellia City Encounter. A star piece. So that's going to get me some good money. So I'm going to get these two encounters before ending the episode off. I'm going to try and get... I, I really want the shaky, the shaky grass. I don't know... Alright, what do we got? This should be a pretty strong encounter. A slow poke, and it's level 18. That's actually not that bad. Level 18? Alright, hopefully we can put it to sleep with this Relic Song. 
I don't know what uh, type it is. Whatever it is, that was not very effective, but a critical hit. So I can't hit it with anything else. So we're just going to have to try and catch it as is, which we'll throw a Pokeball at it and see what happens. Come on, slow poke. Stay in the ball. One, two, three, catch. Good thing Slowpoke has some pretty good catch rate here. Fighting Grass type. Um, we're just going to name it Pokey. Alright, so we got our encounter here. Now let's go back. Alright, here's our first encounter in the underground, and it is in Altaria. So the sewer, sewer first encounter is in Altaria. That is not bad at all. Uh, of course, I don't know its uh, type or anything like that, but we're going to super fang and we're going to cut it down at half HP. Um... I don't know if another attack will kill it or not. But Air Cutter is definitely a low power move, so hopefully... Yeah, okay. Oh, it's using Bolt Strike. That's kind of scary. It's scary... What's really scary is when bad moves do a ton of damage. <laughs> but luckily we haven't really run into that problem quite yet. Alright, so there's a Pokeball. One... Two, three, catch. I'm actually having some good luck. It doesn't doesn't happen very often. If you watch some of my other my my platinum or my heart gold randomizer nuzlocks, uh, this kind of shit does not happen very often. All right. Um, I'm gonna name him Alex. Alex the Altaria. And then we're going to go to the Pokemon Center and heal and check out our Pokemon before the end of this. Shut up, Iris. Nobody cares. Jesus. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go to the Pokemon Center. And we're going to just real quick like... Oh my god, let me guess. Geonet? Uh, yes, I know about Geonet. Okay. does not help me. You do not help me. You are fired. Alright, so let's check out our newly captured Pokemon, Pokey and Alex. Um, so we got Pokey, the fighting grass type, rash nature, so its special attack increases um, and special defense is decreased, but its attack is 29. That's actually pretty good. Uh, it's got Leaf Tornado, which is a fire type move, which is kind of funny. Uh, Sunny Day, which powers up Fire-type moves, so that's actually a good combo there, kind of, sort of, a little bit. But it's a, it has 75 accuracy. <laughs> Might accidentally not put up the sun. My bad. <laughs> Odor Sleuth, that does absolutely nothing for me, and it only has 90 accuracy. And Sing, which has 85 accuracy in this game, which is kind of interesting. And then we've got Alex, the Altaria, so it's got a defense-raising nature with Rain Dish. Gradually regains HP in the rain, that's pretty cool. It's got Heat Wave, which is a ground-type move with 60 power. It's a physical attack, which is really, holy Jesus, it has 57 attack at level 17. Man, this thing is power, and it's a Steel-type, so it resists almost everything. Bolt Strike has 60 power. Um, we got Guard Swap, which doesn't do anything for me, and Needle Arm, which is a Rock-type move. Um, but it has 65 power and 75 accuracy. That's not very good. So we're going to have to rely a lot on these two attacks. Plus, it's a special attack, which is not my Altaria strong suit. Though it is still pretty power, I'm not going to lie. Um, if we could check out these TMs real fast... Strength is a normal normal uh, type move with 75 power, 95 accuracy. Physical attack, that's not bad. 
um, sacred fire or any of these steel types they're not how about horn drill can anyone learn horn drill yet dude Alex can learn horn drill you're learning horn drill for no reason over guard swap just because it would be funny to use in an actual battle but thank you guys so much for watching the show um, it's, it was a lot of fun. We got ourselves a shiny Pokemon. Uh, we were able to defeat the second gym, and we're all the way in Castellia City. Just breezing through this game so far. Um, make sure you click that thumbs up button and show your support and love. We always appreciate it. Um, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what else you want to see on this channel, etc., etc. And uh, we're going to see you next time on another episode of the White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. <laughs>